Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin here, and today I've got the unboxing of the Apple iPhone 6. So if you do follow me on Twitter, you may know I went through absolute hell to get this. I actually had to travel over to Vancouver since I don't have an Apple store on my island, and I stood in line for 23 freaking hours. Hoping to get the iPhone 6 Plus, but a lot of scalpers beat me to it, and in the end, I ended up just grabbing a 128 gig gold iPhone 6. Although I already had a 64 gig gold arriving from pre-order yesterday. So yes, at the moment I do have two iPhone 6s and I should have an iPhone 6 Plus coming early next week. So let's not waste any more time and get right into this unboxing. And the first thing I want to comment on is the packaging. As you know, Apple is very well known for its beautiful packaging and unboxing experience, but the box is pretty much blank and some people think it's very minimalist and looks nice, but in my opinion, I have no idea what they were thinking. So lifting up the box, the first thing we are greeted with is of course the iPhone 6. I actually already took off the plastic wrap and set it up last night as I was very tired after I returned from Vancouver. Taking a look at the back, I do have the gold model and it does also come in space gray and silver like we saw last year. And it features kind of a whole new form factor. The edges are round, the screen has a curve going around the edge trim, and the back no longer has the glass on the top and bottom. And of course the display is 4.7 inches, so that is probably the best feature of the iPhone 6 in my opinion. So next up you've just got the iPhone 6 quick start guide, some instruction manuals, safety and warning information, warranty slips, etc. in a whole plethora of languages. And of course you also have your Apple stickers. Setting all that aside though, you've got your Apple EarPods as well as a USB to wall adapter and also the 8 pin lightning connector for charging and syncing. So that's pretty much it as to what's included in the box. Nothing different in terms of previous unboxing experiences. Everything that we expected is in here and let's just set that all aside and take a look at the iPhone 6 itself. So taking a look at the iPhone 6 now, I have to say I am a pretty big fan of the color. I know some people weren't too keen on the gold this time around, but I felt the silver looked a little bit cheap and that the space gray looked very nice, but I wasn't a fan of black iPhones. In the past, I've all had a white iPhone 5S, iPhone 5, and I actually had a black iPhone 5S for a little bit, and I was just never really able to get used to it, so I stuck with the white one and went for gold once again. You also notice that this time around, due to the larger form factor and display, they have located the power button onto the right side on the side now, so I found it very easy to access, so no problem with that. I will have to get used to it though, as I'm used to having the power button located on the top with previous iPhones. And of course, on the front side, you've got that beautiful 4.7 inch display, as well as your Touch ID fingerprint sensor. On the inside, you've got the Apple A8 processor as well as the M8 motion coprocessor with 1 gig of RAM. It does also ship with iOS 8, by the way. The battery has also been bumped up slightly to 1810 milliamp hours, but you also have to remember it does have to power a larger display, which by the way measures in at 4.7 inches and features a 1334 by 750 resolution 326 PPI display, what Apple calls the Retina HD display. So I've had this device for one night now and I was just setting it up and everything, playing around with it and I did take some getting used to with this larger display as I'm normally not used to having iPhones this large of course. I've actually used the iPhone as a daily driver for the past three years now from the iPhone 4 to the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S and now to the iPhone 6. And I will admit that I'm a huge fan of the 4.7 inch display, but with someone with rather small hands, 4.7 inches, in my opinion, is the perfect size and as large as I would want my daily driver to be. The sixth row of icons and kind of the icons being a little bit more spaced out in general looks very nice. And now that I go back to my iPhone 5S, I kind of feel like the icons are just so crammed, of course. But kind of my first impressions of this device is that everything about it is very nice, kind of what I expected and this will without a doubt be my daily driver, even if I do get the iPhone 6 Plus, which will hopefully be coming early next week. But aside from that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as I went through absolute hell to get this device on day one to bring coverage for you guys and let me know what coverage you would like to see on the iPhone 6 and stay tuned for my unboxing of the iPhone 6 Plus, hopefully coming early next week. 